Hi everyone, my name is Miss Tui and I'm so excited to be here with you. Today we are going to cover some of the basics of the Ozobot. Today you'll need markers, green, black, blue, and red. You'll need an Ozobot and you'll need the worksheets that go with this lesson. Make sure you have all five pages. By the end of today's lesson, you'll know how to calibrate your bot and you'll be able to draw lines for the bot to follow. Ozobot is a small tabletop robot that can read color codes, follow lines, and run programs that you build with blocks. Let's take a look at the line following sensors. Underneath the bot, towards the front, there's a row of line following sensors. These sensors detect lines and allow the bot to follow them. Can you find these sensors on your bot? In order for the Ozobot to line follow accurately, it must be calibrated. Since lighting conditions can vary under different circumstances, we recommend calibrating the Ozobot before every use. Here's how. You can find the black calibration dot and place the Ozobot on top. Hold down the power button for five seconds and release. The bot will spin, move out of the circle and flash green. That's how you know the calibration has been successful. Now, if you don't have access to a black calibration dot, that's okay. You can draw your own by using a black marker. Any black marker will work. We've created a little area for you to practice yourself on your worksheet. Here, you'll take your marker and just color in a circle, the size a little bit larger than the size of the Ozobot. Then you'll take your bot, place it on top of the dot, and hold down for five seconds. Once you release, the bot should turn in a circle, move out of the circle, and flash green. That means the calibration was successful. Find page one. Can you practice calibrating your bot? Today you will get your Ozobot to follow a line. The Ozobot can follow lines in black, green, red, and blue. Let's practice. The bot isn't able to follow lines that are too thin, inconsistent, too thick. They need to be just right. If you're using an Ozobot marker, you can use the chisel tip to help you draw the perfect thickness. Watch me as I draw a line. I'm gonna connect the lines here. Using that chisel tip to help me create that perfect thickness. I'll do the best job I can to connect the lines. I'm going to place my bot at start to see if it follows the line all the way to the end. Notice there's a color code at the end of this line. We're gonna learn more about those in the next lesson. Woohoo! We made it! Can you find page two and draw a line for your bot to follow? Let's keep practicing. Find page three. We're gonna create a circle for Ozobot to follow. Using my chisel tip, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. And if I need to pick up my marker and move my paper to help me draw that thickness, that's absolutely okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Great. So now my circle is completed. I'll place my bot on top of the line and we'll see if Ozobot follows all the way around. Nice, it completed the loop. Find page three. See if you can draw a circle for your bot to follow.
The Ozobot can follow lines, including corners and curves. Make sure that when you're drawing your corners and curves that they're not too sharp, not too close together. They need to be just right. Watch me. I'm going to take my marker and draw my first corner to connect the lines. I'll draw a curve here, another corner, and then one last curve. Then I will take my Ozobot and place it on start. Let's see if it makes it to the end. Nice work. Can you draw corners and curves on your page four? Ozobot can see color through its optical sensor. Watch me as I use green, blue, and red to draw colored lines for the Ozobot to follow. I'm going to start with red. Again, I'm going to use that chisel tip to help me draw a line that is just right. Then I will use blue to draw a corner and a curve. Then I'll finish with green to draw my last curve. Then I will place the Ozobot at start. What do you notice about the Ozobot's LED lights as it travels over the colored lines? Look closely. That's right, the LED lights change based on the color line that the Ozobot is traveling over. Find page five. Can you complete the path for Ozobot on your worksheet? Great work today learning all about Ozobot's line following capabilities. After today's lesson, you should be able to calibrate the bot, draw lines, corners and curves, and colored lines for your Ozobot to follow. Come back for our next video. We'll be covering how to command Ozobot with color codes, and you'll learn all the cool moves that Ozobot can do. If you're looking for something more to do, keep practicing your colored lines, corners and curves, and keep drawing and see what you can get Evo to follow. See you next time.